You haven't seen anything that's, um, out of the ordinary around here, have you? Maybe something hidden, shaped like a bottle cap. I thought we told you to keep your ass at the market. If you're looking for something, you can find it there, like everyone else. I'm not here for the market. I didn't travel hundreds of miles to go shopping. I don't suppose you came here for a bullet in the brain, either. So if you want to live, I suggest you stay where you belong. Oh, you guys are real friendly, aren't you? Things Nuka World! I've always dreamed of coming here, Ain't and no now I finally nice made it! This place is amazing, don't you think? How is this place amazing? How? Just look around. Don't you see it? You can just imagine the children smiling and happy, all drinking Nuka Cola and having the time of their lives. It must have been magical. The name's Sierra Petrovita. I traveled all the way from the Capital Wasteland to visit this place. Maybe you've heard about my Nuka Cola Museum? Uh, yeah, the Nuka Cola Museum. Everyone's heard of that. Really? That's great! I'm so glad word is catching on. Maybe I'll get more visitors soon. You just made my day! Here, let me return the favor. It's not really cold anymore, but I'm sure it still tastes great. Well, I'd stay and chat some more, but I've got to get back to my search. What are you searching for? I don't really want to say. It's nothing personal. I, I just don't know you well enough to trust you. Sorry. I'll keep your secret. You can trust me. Well... Okay. To be honest, I'm so excited I can barely keep it in. It'll be a relief to finally tell someone. I guess you could think of me as the world's biggest Nuka-Cola fan. I've been obsessed with this stuff since the first time I tasted it. I collect all the merchandise I can find, like these awesome Cappy glasses I'm wearing. But these aren't just ordinary sunglasses. They were part of a really cool contest that started just before the war. And oh my gosh. And the winner of the contest would get to meet the famous John Caleb Bradburton himself. Oh boy, John Caleb Bradburton, how exciting. I know. That's exactly how I felt when I first learned about the contest. It's so nice to meet someone who really understands. So, to win the contest, you had to find 10 images of Cappy, the Nuka-Cola mascot, hidden throughout the park. Each image has part of a code or something, and only these special glasses can reveal it. Now I know what you're thinking. Brad Burton's long gone. Who cares about the contest anymore? Well... I'm betting that somewhere in his office is the original Nuka-Cola formula. That formula was one of the great mysteries of the soft drink world, and it would be the crown jewel of my collection. If you can help me get it, I promise it'll be worth your while. What's in it for me? I was just getting to that part. Brad Burton didn't just create soda formulas. He was a genius who invented all kinds of fantastic things. All I really care about is getting my hands on the Nuka-Cola formula. Any other inventions we find are yours to keep. So, what do you think? Sure, why not? Might learn more about the park while I'm at it. Good point. You're new here, after all. You should learn everything you can. I'll give you my cappy glasses and this old contest holotape. It's got hints about where to find the hidden cappies. Just track down the clues, and then come back to me once you've found them all. I'm an expert in all things Nuka-Cola, so I'm sure I'll be able to decipher it. Happy hunting! Hi, Sierra. Remember, you won't see hidden cappy codes without the glasses. Make sure you're wearing them while you search.
That's one. Two clues down, eight to go. That's three clues. The letters must spell something. Okay, that's another clue found. Aha, got another one. Uh, 
You, uh, got a little too much energy there, boss? Welcome to the Nuka-Cola World of Refreshments, now featuring a river of Nuka-Cola Quantum. Nuka-Cola began its journey in the year 20... It took almost two years to perfect the formula, but in late 2044, Mr. Brad was finally successful. Out West, they enjoy regional favorites, such as the classy Nuka-Cola Quartz and refreshingly patriotic Nuka-Cola Victory. Clue number seven. For those that prefer a timeless, root-based beverage, they pick up a delicious Nuka-Cola Wild. It quickly surpasses other lesser beverages. Nuka-Cola Quantum. Cruise, almost done. And that's all ten clues. Better get these back to Sierra and see what you can make of them. That last one died too fast. I'm losing my time.
Careful out there. The park's a pretty dangerous place. I found all the hidden cappies. Each one had a letter? Great. Let me take a look at these letters. Well, anyone who stared at Nuka-Cola merchandise as long as I have would get this one pretty fast. The letters definitely spell refreshing. It's simpler than I was expecting. So how do we use this code? This door should lead to Brad Burton's office, but it's locked up tight. The keypad is the only way to open it. I guess we just need to key in the ten numbers that correspond to the word refreshing. You did all the work looking for the hidden copies, so you should be the one who gets to enter the code. That's it! The door's unlocked! Let's go inside! to Nuka-Cola Clear Production. I think it's obvious that we need to take a step back and examine the facts. Project Cobalt dropped Quantum in our laps, so I think it's best we leverage its potential popularity before someone else beats us to market. Additionally, installing the equipment to produce both flavors would cost us a pretty penny, and I'd rather use the funds to promote Quantum. We also have our lemon lime flavor debuting soon, and need to work out how to market two clear colored flavors simultaneously. With all these factors taken into account, I have no choice but to hold off Nuka-Cola clear production for at least the next two fiscal years. Then you know it's in its infancy, and there are a lot of kinks to be worked out. 
It isn't as easy as throwing a switch and suddenly you can live forever. Stop trying to talk me out of it. We both know the enemy is developing chemical and biological weapons, and that my beverage ears are the top organic chemists in the world. Our countries are in a race where no one comes in second, General. So you need to ask yourself, can you really afford to stand here and say no? You had this all figured out before I even arrived, didn't you? Okay, fine. You want in on the Liebex program, you've got yourself a deal. You know, maybe immortality is what's best for you, Brad Burton. Be a goddamn shame to let that ego go to waste. This is so exciting. Sierra. I just knew there'd be a secret elevator here. Going down. Hmm, now this looks interesting. Come on! What on earth? Wait. No! It can't be! That's John Caleb Bradburton! Or at least it's his head. Wow! Who... Who are you? I haven't seen a real human face in so long. I had given up all hope. Oh my god! It's alive! He's alive! My name's Sierra, sir. I'm your biggest admirer. I love Nuka-Cola more than anything. <laughs> this is such an honor. You there, with the pit boy. What are you doing here? We used the contest code to get in. What the hell happened to you? I made a devil's bargain. Though I didn't know it at the time. This was General Braxton's plan all along. Damn the man. He called it Project Cobalt. In exchange for my weapon design, he would give me access to life-extending technology. I'm such a fool for taking him at his word. He never told me that this would be the price. Who was General Braxton? He was one of the top men in the Army Research Laboratory's Weapons and Materials Division. He'd taken a keen interest in my quantum mechanics research and offered me a trade. In exchange for my assistance on a top secret weapons project, he gave me access to an experimental process that would artificially extend my life. Like a fool, I leapt before I looked. I've certainly paid the price for my short-sightedness. A... Uh, a weapon? I don't believe it. Why would the genius who brought so much joy to the world want to make something destructive? Genius is restless, madam. It must expand, seek new challenges, and explore new frontiers. So yes, a weapon. It was going to be a quantum-enhanced variant of the standard portable tactical warhead. In fact, the prototypes are stored in this very chamber. You can have them on one condition. I want you to shut off the power to this machine that's keeping me alive. I want to die. What? No! Are you really sure that you want to... Die? I've had plenty of time to think about it. You can't kill him. He's a great man. He invented Nuka-Cola, the best thing in the world. Lady, you don't know what a torment it is. Being trapped here alone and staring at the same wall decade after decade. Now please shut up while I talk to your more rational friend here. I realize that what I'm asking isn't easy. But there's something in it for you. When the power is cut, the door to the prototype storage room will open automatically. Take anything you want. I don't care anymore. Just please. 
Set me free at last. I can't bear this loneliness any longer. Wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. Mr. Bradburton wants to die because he's lonely, right? Well, maybe I could stay with him, you know? Keep him company, give him someone to talk to. He's like a hero to me. If he lives, I don't get the prototype ammo. What can you offer to make this worth my while? Well, uh, I do have one thing that might interest you. I've got a limited edition Nuka-Cola jumpsuit. It's really stylish, and not many were made. It's one of my most treasured possessions, but... Well... I'm willing to let you have it. A Nuka-Cola jumpsuit? Ha! That's a paltry prize compared to what I'm offering. The choice is yours. But I beg you to honor my wishes. There is no one else who can help me. I sort of feel sorry for him. I couldn't stand being a frozen head. How could I drink Nuka-Cola? Hi, Sierra. I'm almost afraid to ask, but... What's your decision? What about the secret Nuka-Cola formula you think is locked up in that vault? That was before we found John Caleb Bradburton in the flesh. Well, mostly. Who knows? Maybe he'll tell me the Nuka-Cola formula himself, along with all kinds of other things? <laughs> that would be incredible. Please, tell me that you'll let him live. I'll accept your offer. I won't shut the power off. Thank you, thank you, thank you! You're doing the right thing! After all, this is a great man we're talking about. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a living legend to talk to. Good luck running Nuka World! Help yourself to anything that you think is useful. None of it means much to me anymore. I commend your diligence. It can't have been easy to find your way in here. You can't know how wonderful a real conversation can be until you've gone without one for a few hundred years. I'm pleased to know that even now, the legacy of my work is still appreciated. Sierra has made that very clear to me. I won't deny that it's nice to have some company again. Hey, Sierra. See what else I can find in this place to add to my collection? Guess I'll be heading home soon. Not much left for me here. This trip was totally worth it. I'm so glad I came here.